May 27th, Notes from Papa. To my child, whom I love with all my encompassing, unconditional love, sometimes you unknowingly slip from our intimate, personal, back-and-forth communications of feelings, emotions, ideas, and close relationship to a more detective role of trying to find out about me from research and reading other people's opinion about me. You can get caught up in research and translations, and you look for nuggets of information and insight from other people who are doing the same thing, and you miss me. I am not a puzzle to be solved, I am a mystery to be explored, and I enjoyed enjoy, and enjoyed personally and intimately. There is nothing more, there is nothing wrong with finding things I have revealed about myself to my other children. There's nothing wrong with studying original languages of the scripture. But you only get to know me by being with me personally, listening to my voice, letting me reveal to you directly who I am and what I feel about you and what I'm thinking about something. Most times you will need to intentionally, specifically set aside some time for you and me It will work best when you don't have other things competing for your mind or attention. You hear my voice best when there are no other people or voices around. I love you, and I am in love with you, and I want to reveal to you the depth of my love for you. Think now, if you were deeply and madly in love with someone and wanted to convey to them, and wanted to convey that to them, would you try to do it with other people around? With a TV playing during a with a TV show playing during a metrolic news broadcast, of course not. You would want their full, undivided attention. Some people are afraid to listen to me because they think they will hear condemnation, or chastisement, or correction, or admonition, a list of do's and don'ts. But that's not true. I only want you to know my love affection and admiration of and for you. Be still and know that I am God. Love, Papa.